And we're back, boiling in March, wetsuit and the 250 high aspect wing. Power level eight, that's all it takes to get up on this wing. Well, that's the best I've ever done. Easily. I give the 250 wing an A plus for excellence and ease of use. That was so much easier compared to the 165. Um, it does still feel like you can carve pretty easy. Although I wouldn't say it's as nimble as the 165 where you really do feel like you could turn on a dime. Um, but the 250 is so much more stable and everything happens in slow motion. So falling is in slow motion, turning is in slow motion. I'm in slow motion. But as far as teaching people goes, I think this one's gonna be really good because for, you know, not only for learning, just as going at a slower speed, but for falling, you know, you fall at a slower speed, a lot less intimidating. Um, Cause when I fall to the side, I mean, I have enough time to push off and cannonball to the water also wetsuit in March about what 63 degree water so yeah um perfect but in the river in like the 54 degree water it was just as good that was also on a 75 degree day but today it's only 72 outside water 64 feels amazing I would definitely recommend the 250 wing so if I were to buy another e4 of the day what would I go with I would go with get foil again I think you talk about reliability price and support and it's a no-brainer so the support's been great anytime i reach out i get an email the same day or the next day and they're willing to talk to me you can give them a phone call at any time and they always pick up so that alone might just be worth it then you talk about the price effectiveness i mean you're saving a ton of money compared to other brands i've never rode the other brands i'm sure they're great but this one's at a good price and it's, and it's reliable that's the third thing it's, it's been reliable i've had no issues with it I also don't mistreat my stuff right i don't drop my remote on concrete or slam it into the foil when i fall or drop test my battery from my roof because it's fun, but the battery life is insane, especially when you pair it with this wing. I've only managed to go down 30% with this wing, and I mean, that's as much as I could foil in a day. I mean, after that, I'm tired. But yeah, 30%, I'll charge it to 90%, and inevitably, I will only get down to 65 or 60% because by that time, I'm done. So it's enough to where somebody else could take it back out, or later on that day, I could not even charge it and then take it right back out and use it for the same amount of time I did the first time. So I could get like two hours of life out of this probably two and a half hours of battery and, and off one charge. And I think that's insane. And I don't know, you know, the battery life comparison to the competitors. I think it's still pretty good. But again, the price, you're paying a lot less, but you're still getting the performance. But I'll list everything that my board has in the description so you can see what setup I'm rocking now. And of course I have the, the 165 wing, which I'll, I'll put up here, right? But this is the wing that I would go with at least to start. Um, Reason being, actually, before I put it away, is pitch control. I think this one's got insanely good pitch control, right? Because with this wing, I always had a problem of losing lift. Also, you have to be going like 15 to 16 miles an hour to really maintain lift in all conditions, right? Against the wind, you can be going like eight miles an hour and get lift, it's easy. With this wing, you can do it no matter what, going like 11 to 12 miles an hour. So I really enjoy this wing. One downside is when you're rolling, it's harder to recover. But once you get used to that, it's, it's cake. This one, on the other hand, the pitch can be tough, but the rolling is easy. It's really easy to recover from, and think about it, you have less surface area, so of course the roll is gonna be easier. This one you have more, so it's gonna take more force to counter it when it is rolling. But again, once you get the hang of it, it's easy. Also, if you're teaching somebody, right, falling is slower, right? And even yourself, it's a great confidence booster when you fall, it's so slow, you can just jump off the board. Like, it happens in slow motion. So, 
I think the swing is even safer, and I think it's it's going to help people who are just learning and don't want to get discouraged too fast. This is the wing I would go with, the 250. But that's going to do it for this video. Um, I am going to get some more footage, hopefully with the Insta 360 X3 and the drone this weekend with the 250 high aspect wing. But that is only if I can get like a lanyard system going for my Insta360 X3. I have this bad feeling that I'm going to tomahawk it to the abyss and then there goes my camera. Where with the drone, I don't fly it. You know, it just follows me and then we're good. But look for that content and like I said, I will leave the specs of my board in the description below for all those who are curious. But so far, it has been a great experience and I hope to see you guys on the next one.